Okay, now I want to talk about the free method in order to check out your keywords and how competitive they are. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to get the Moz bar. You can actually head over and install it inside of Chrome. Um, you need a Moz account, obviously, so sign up for that. It is free. There is a point where obviously they cap you off, but for doing initial research, it's really the best because you don't have to pay for it. And again, you get a few searches for free that really gives a lot of detail. Um, that the same that the paid softwares I'm going to be presenting as well also do but of course they do it in mass they do a lot more so it's more for those people who are like making a huge campaign anything where you're going to be using 25 or more keywords which means you're only going to be addressing one keyword per one article and that is going to allow you to of course have a lot of content to create so you don't have to worry about creating huge mega lists of tens of thousands of keywords or even hundreds. You just need a handful to begin. And that's what this is all about. So Moz is going to help you with that. And I love Backlinko because they have great imagery and they go through a lot of the things I'm already talking about, which is installing the Moz bar. You're going to see something like this. You're just going to go inside of Google, just like this, type in your keyword and say my keyword happens to be you know like this one uh wordpress hosting so i'm going to come in here this is what it would normally look like again up here are all the paid ads this is what people are paying per click i do that bam that just cost editors review probably 10 20 dollars just to get that one click that's an expensive thing to do but then you come down here all of these are organic these are things where they naturally ranked again more advertising here but this is going to have a lot of stats and it's going to look just like this. It's going to show you the PA, which is known as the page authority, the DA, which is known as the domain authority, and kind of the number of links um, that are literally pointing to this page and saying, yes, this page should be ranked because we link back to it and we think it's important for these keywords. And I'm going to explain what a backlink is in a little bit more detail if you're not already familiar with that. But basically, the backlink is something where, hey, I'm going to come in here, uh, recent ranking factors research study. So now, if I were to click on this, it's going to take me to another page inside of the website. And now what this is doing is that when this page, this link is found on any website, including your own, it's going to count as a backlink from a unique domain. And that link is, of course, pointing and the words that are highlighted as you can see right here recent ranking factors research study is the keyword that is used inside this backlink so now if i type in recent re ranking factors research study they're more likely to show up in page one of google bing or yahoo because they have a backlink pointing to this page with a piece of text that says when you look at this page or you index this page this is the key phrase that really has to do with everything this page talks about. So, you know, if it's about recent ranking factors, great, that's what you want, a long tail keyword. But you don't want to put something like, this is about WordPress hosting, or this is about WordPress, you know, SEO. It's not what it's about. It's about ranking factors and the research study that was recently done on them. So all of those things uh, is what accounts for why you rank for specific keywords or phrases and why you don't rank for others. Even though your website may be based all around basketball or sports, you're probably not going to rank for that term. What your article will probably rank for is how to dribble a basketball faster or how to hit a baseball uh, better or something like that is going to be more relevatory towards your article than just the word sports or baseball or basketball. So it's all of these niche ideas and the more accurate and acute that you can get towards the key phrase you're going to use and what you're writing on, which is why we need our keywords first, then it expands this idea. And naturally from this being our head topic, we're going to get a lot more to write on. So with that being said, these are what's known as referring domains. Anyone that has a backlink with a specific, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what this anchor text or the backlink text says, it's just this link is pointing towards a specific page or URL. And that is what's known as a referring domain. As you can see there, there's 59 RDs or 59 referring domains, which means there's only 60 websites that have probably mentioned this page maybe 20 or 30 times throughout their website in multiple ways. So again, that's a huge thing to take into account. Now, another thing, here it is again, 
you get to see the number of referring domains and you can kind of justify what it's going to take in order to rank that high. And the more quality that your article is, the more it's searched, the more it's shared, the more backlinks it'll get, the more it's promoted, etc. And that's what this is all about, is trying to create socially, socially viral content through articles that are easy to read, but most importantly, SEO enhanced. Now, all of these things are going to add up into the Ahrefs link, the, uh, the unique uh, referrals, the uh, domain referrals, backlinks, referring domains, organize, uh, all, all, all types of stuff is going to be in here. Just the page rank, uh, or I'm sorry, the page authority, the domain authority, and the link profiles are gonna be viewable as you can see here. And all of that's available inside. Not often, but again, it's going to be able to give it for maybe 20, 30, 40 keywords for you, and that's enough because it's free and it gives you a good start. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the paid version that I recommend if you're going to be doing more in bulk.